Thank you very much, everyone. Here, post-match CONCACAF Men's Olympic Qualifying Press Conference with Canada Head Coach Mauro Biello. Uh, electronically, you can raise your hands and we will take turn questions as they come up. And we will start with Post Media, Derek Van Deest. Uh, hi, Mauro. Congratulations on, on making it through to the semifinal. Uh, just a thought on, on this game. And, uh, you guys obviously scored that first goal, but they hit you back real quickly. But were you happy overall with your team's performance today? Oh, I think, look, the first half uh, was was a solid performance. Uh, there were some good things. I think our shape was good. Uh, we played a good team. This is uh, obviously a team that's, uh, you know, these, these players are all in season. And, you know, you saw us in the second half maybe a little bit where we were just uh, running on fumes a little bit uh, in terms of our fitness. It's something that we're going to have to overcome here going into this next game. We're going to have to recover and uh, and be ready against a strong opponent. Thank you very much, Peter Galindo, Sportsnet. Hi, Mauro. Um, given how he performed coming off of the bench, um, why uh, kind of wait until the, around the 70th minute to put in Lucas Diaz, given how much of a threat he was on, on the break? Yeah, look, I think we, we had to manage uh, certain things. Uh, for sure, uh, Lucas came in, did well. Uh, second game in a row, you see the the quality that he has. Uh, I think we, you know, we had a little bit of an issue in the back with some injuries and rotating some players around, and, and not having those players to fill in. Uh, so we had to organize the team the best way possible in that way. And uh, when Lucas came in, he did well. Thank you very much, John Molinero. Hi, uh, Mauro. Just wondering if there's any sort of update on um, Derek Cornelius. Um, you know, you had to was was subbing him out of precaution, or was it more serious than that? Well, we'll see. I don't know the extent of it. Uh, he took a little knock, um, and we'll he'll be reevaluated uh, tomorrow, and uh, we'll have more information. Thank you very much, Armin, from One Soccer. Hey, Mauro. Um, a one-off against Mexico now awaits your team for a spot in Tokyo. Uh, obviously, based on the permutations, it could have been the U.S., but what do you make of the upcoming match against Mexico as a prospect for your team's chances? And do you almost prefer to test yourself against some of the best competition in, in the region? Yeah, I think, look, every anytime you play against uh, Mexico, uh, we're going to be a better team after that. And, uh, you know, I think uh, for sure this will be a, a big challenge for us. Uh, but the way this team has been fighting, the way this team uh, has play, been playing defensively, we, we haven't given up a goal in the run of play in the tournament. Um, I think that we could build on stuff like that. Uh, for us, it's about uh, getting the right tactics versus this team. And, uh, you know, it's one game. And we'll see, uh, we'll see now in the next couple of days how we recover from, from this game and be ready for that, uh, for that game. Thank you very much. Tanya? Hi, Tanya Antimilla from TV Azteca. Uh, your next rival is Mexico. What do you think about uh, the kind of uh, game they play? Uh, could you say something about uh, what, how do you see Mexico facing this uh, uh, team that it's local, it's gonna be tough? Yeah, they're playing at home for sure. The game, uh, the game will be difficult. Uh, you know, it's a one game. Uh, so for us, it's, it's about being focused on what we can do, uh, you know, denying them uh, that space that they need to operate. And for us, in the end, uh, if we're able to do that, uh, we need to grow throughout that game. And, and uh, I think what, what we're going to work on is the belief that we could get this done. Thank you very much. Jose? Um, thank you. Uh, Coach, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the second half. Um, was it a little bit of um, you guys thinking maybe into the next round or was it Honduras putting pressure constantly on you guys? Because it seems like there wasn't a sense of urgency to go for that um, first place in the group. Thank you. 
No, look, I think there was, uh, you know, uh, again, it's 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 a little bit of a pattern. Some of my players haven't played a game in 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 six months, eight months. They're in preseason. You're playing versus a team uh, that's, you know, their league is up and running. They got games. They got 90 minutes in their legs. And uh, I think this has been a little bit the issue with us. We were, were, you know, the game against Haiti is the same thing in the second half. Things, you know, we we were just weren't getting getting uh we're in closing space down quick enough so uh i think for us it's it's about managing that understanding that at a certain point in the game um uh, you know we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make subs bring in some freshness and try to maintain a little bit of our structure uh it's it's only normal uh unfortunately the, this is the situation and we're gonna do the best we can uh with the players available to 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 make this to tokyo Thank you. We've got a handful more that we'll get through. Um, so next, Michael McCall. Hey, Moro. The the game that you've got coming up, it's a later kickoff again, so I guess that kind of plays into it. But as you touched upon there, the, the team looked like they were playing on fumes to, towards the end. What, what does the next couple of days look like for you guys? Is it going to be a lot of on-pitch work, or is it more a case of just resting these guys up and trying to get some more stuff back in their legs. Yeah, we're going to have to get these, uh, the players recovered and it's going to be a lot of uh, video, uh, you know, tactical uh, work and in, in the next two days. But for sure, the, the main thing is to get, uh, get these guys back and, and recovered uh, because it's, it's going to be uh, obviously a difficult match, but I think it's a game that they're going to be up for. And uh, we know the type of opponent that we're facing and the players uh, will be ready for it. Thank you very much. Uh, Canadian Press, Gemma. Hi, Coach. I'm wondering if you can uh, talk about how Derek Cornelius played tonight. Obviously, he had the goal, but I'm wondering if you can talk a little bit about his overall game. Yeah, I think the, you know, the whole team did a, did a good job defensively. Um, you know, Derek uh, scored a big goal on the set piece, and he was a warrior tonight, and uh, he took a knock. And uh, you know we we made the decision to to not take any risks uh, and take him out. But overall, I think it was a solid performance. Um, so we're, we're I'm quite pleased with the way we defended. Thank you very much, Thomas. Now, hi Maro. Um, I want to ask you about uh, Jaime Macias. Uh, what's your plan to uh, content him uh, defensively? On who? Sorry. Uh, Jaime Macias, uh, Mexico Macias, forward. Center four, yeah. 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 Look, I think it's not only Macias. I think there's a, there's a there's a few players there that we're gonna have to take uh, take care of. Uh, obviously, Alvarado and Antuna. I know very well. They started against us in the Gold Cup uh, in in 2019, and uh, you know there's these they're quality players playing in, in their in their home stadium. The, those are players that could uh, unbalance you. We saw it in the game yesterday. You know, the, there was one mistake by the Americans and they made you pay. So I think for us, it's 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 always having cover around those players, making sure that uh, we don't give them the space that they need to operate and frustrate them. And then uh, from there, we grow as a team and try to find spaces uh, that we can exploit. Thank you. Merci. On va tourner les deux questions en français, s'il vous plaît. Gavino. Merci, Richard. Moro, peux-tu nous dresser un peu euh, le bilan après ces trois matchs-là, tant offensivement que défensivement? Est-ce que tu es satisfait de ton équipe? Merci. Uh, oui, je suis satisfait. On a fait ce qu'on devait faire, c'est de, de se qualifier pour une semi-finale. Uh, on n'a pas perdu un match, on n'a pas uh, concédé uh, un but uh, dans, dans le jeu. Uh, je pense qu'il y a uh, beaucoup de positifs uh, de notre part. Uh, je savais que ça serait difficile. Uh, J'ai des joueurs qui n'ont pas joué, qui ne sont pas en rythme. Et uh, on joue contre des équipes qui, qui sont ensemble, qui, qui ont joué uh, dans, leur, uh, dans leur championnat déjà. Et ils ont uh, tous ces minutes dans les jambes. Alors pour nous, on voulait grandir uh, à travers ce, ce tournoi. Et ça, c'est qu ce qu'on a fait. Uh, on a été capable de... de 
de faire match nul ce soir contre une équipe qu'on n'a jamais battue euh, au niveau olympique. Alors, euh, pour nous, euh, c'était positif de là. Maintenant, on se prépare pour un match et euh, tout peut arriver dans un match. Merci beaucoup. Euh, Monsieur Raphaël. Oui, merci. Bonjour, euh, Moreau. Euh, je voulais juste savoir un peu par rapport à la relance courte de James Van Temis et relancer un peu de, de l'arrière. Ça a été un peu compliqué face au pressing du Honduras. Euh, Est-ce qu'il n'y a pas eu à un moment donné euh, cette volonté de vouloir un peu euh, changer un peu les choses, de jouer un peu plus long parce qu'à un moment donné, c'était assez compliqué? Est-ce qu'il y a eu ces consignes-là à donner aux joueurs? Oui, je pense qu'on a vu ça, qu'on est allé un peu plus direct euh, euh, durant certains moments-là, quand on a, on a eu un peu de difficultés. Mais je veux aussi donner la confiance aux joueurs et, et de prendre cette décision. Et, et James, de sa part, il doit, il doit euh, reconnaître le moment euh, quand on peut jouer et quand on doit aller euh, direct. Alors, euh, on a très bien fait ça durant le tournoi. Et il faut comprendre quand on est un peu plus fatigué, quand, euh, quand l'autre équipe est, est, était euh, un peu mieux placée pour nous arrêter, il faut lire la situation. Et dans ces moments-là, il faut aller direct. Et ce sont des choses qu'il faut continuer à, à corriger et à améliorer. Euh, mais à la fin, euh, ça ne nous a pas coûté, mais ça pouvait nous coûter, euh, c'est sûr. Et euh, c'est des choses qu'on doit améliorer et apprendre. Merci beaucoup, Moreau. Merci beaucoup, tout le monde. Thank you very much, everyone, here from CONCACAF Men's Olympic Qualifying in Mexico. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for your patience. Back CONCACAF Men's Olympic Qualifying post-match press conference. We have player Marcus Coutinho. We will take a handful of questions before we get him on the bus for his uh, regeneration. And Derek, we'll start with you right away. Hey, Mark, congratulations on uh, qualifying for this semifinal. I just, uh, can you give me a thought out there on the game after taking the lead? It, it looked like uh, as things went on, uh, you, the legs got a little heavy. How did you see it? Yeah, I mean, we scored a goal and, you know, it was a good goal. Derek does really well. I think the timing of the goal that we concede, it's, it's a tough one. You know, right after we scored a concede, it's, yeah, it deflates you a bit. I mean, a lot of guys played a lot of minutes. And I think that the second half, you could kind of see that. I think a lot of the legs started to go. And yeah, I mean, I think we did enough defensively to keep the clean sheet. We tried, to, or not the clean sheet, sorry, but keep the score tied. Um, we were compact and we battled through. And I think that's, we had the mentality. We just got to keep fighting. And, you know, if we defend well, we can get a result again against Mexico. Thank you very much, Carlos. We'll go move to the Canadian press. Gemma. Hey, Marcus. You said that the uh, the Honduras goal was deflating. Can you expand on that a little bit? What was it like for you guys on the pitch to have that kind of emotional high and then the letdown? Yeah, I mean, as soon as you score, I mean, you're really excited. And for to concede so quick right after, it's like, a, it's, like it's honestly like getting shot. Um, you've got to try and regroup. But the problem is that We've played a lot of minutes, you know, and guys are fighting. So you have that going against you. Then you can see the goal, and it's, it's tough to regroup. But like I said, I think we did enough to hold on. And, yeah, now it's about recovering, getting ready for the next game. Thank you very much, Paul Vance. Hi, Marcus. Um, Morrow said just before you'd come on about the team running a little bit on, on fumes towards the end of the game. Do you, Do you feel, maybe not yourself because you've been playing in Europe, but do you feel this, this tournament has just come at the wrong time for the North American teams like the USA and Canada, considering most of the, the Central American teams are in the middle of league seasons? I mean, I feel there's never really a perfect time. I mean, then you've got your European guys at other times that are off, right? So it's, it's tough all around. Um, I think the important thing is that the guys, you know, they've been putting in a shift when they've not been at training, when they've not been playing, and everyone's come in in decent shape. You know, to get through three games in these conditions, it's not easy. Um, so I think everything considered, you know, the team's doing well. Thank you. Thank you. We'll just take one last call for questions. 